Mammography, we know that it's not perfect. We know that you can have up to 40% of cancers can be missed in very dense breasts. So there are, we have tried to see other methods that will be better than mammography in a sense that maybe methods that do not read radiation, methods that do not need contrast, methods that don't care about breast density, that look into breast density better. So there are some methods which we think can, be, can improve the, the data from mammography screening. One of those methods is tomosynthesis, which is also radiation uh, uh, modality. But tomosynthesis has the advantage of seeing, of doing a scan of all the breasts and reconstructing the image every one millimeter. So the superimposition of images that will preclude you from seeing the cancer if it's surrounded by normal tissue, you don't get that with Tomo. You can see the cancer straight away because you're, so to speak, cutting through the breast every one millimeter. Tomo synthesis has already been used in screening, in especially in Europe, in prospective trials, also in retrospective trials in the USA. And the results are very, very encouraging because it not only detects 35% more cancers, it lowers the recall rates. That means it is more specific. It's more specific than mammography. The other method would be ultrasound. Ultrasound has been used every day. We use it every day to characterize lesions. If you use it for screening, it has a three per 1,000 detection rate, which is not bad. But the problem with ultrasound is that it's time consuming. You have to spend a minimum 20 minutes to, go of, to do a very good ultrasound scan. And the problem is also that it has a very low positive predictive value. You, have, you get much, many more false positives in ultrasound than in mammography. And the third method we're talking about is MRI. MRI with contrast has been used and is being used as a method to screen high-risk patients, patients with, with a hereditary risk greater than 20%. And there have been some advances in this field because some people are now proposing an, an abbreviated MRI uh, method, which would mean less time to do the MRI and less time to read it. So far, the information we have is just feasibility studies, I mean, retrospective, but they are encouraging. And the other method I, would, I talked about is diffusion MRI, which is an MRI had, that doesn't need any contrast. And we are now uh, working on that. And the, the, the data are only theoretical at this moment, but the data are also very encouraging because it doesn't need contrast, it doesn't care about breast density, and you can, it doesn't hurt the patient in, in any way. It's not a radiation uh, uh, exam.